Elizabeth Goss, a Mason Elementary teaching team representative for second grade. The activity I'm going to highlight for you is the use of individual positive labels. It supports our school team's KC3 positive label program while also emphasizing writing skills. I created the strategy for students to learn and practice by having them write a compliment to each other. The students used positive character labels and wrote reasons to support the labels. Before the activity, I read the book Dear Mr. Hatch. I used notebook paper for the compliments and construction paper for the end product hearts. This book illustrates that the power of words can help you or hurt you. In the book, Mr. Hatch changes his outlook on life when he hears positive words from a stranger. We brainstormed a list of positive labels on the board. I then explained the assignment to the class. Each student would write his or her name at the top of a piece of notebook paper. We came up with a system for trading papers. Each student wrote a compliment for every student in the class. The compliment had to be a complete sentence and you had to explain the compliment fully. For example, you could not write, John is nice. You had to explain how John is nice. I typed the compliments and corrected the spellings after school. On day two, each student made a large heart with the border design. I distributed the typed compliments. Each student cut apart his or her compliments and glued them to the heart. And the last step was for me to laminate the hearts. I've done this activity in the past and have found that it's quite meaningful to the students. I was told by a parent of a seventh grader that he still has his heart from second grade. I believe that when students hear positive labels about themselves, they become that label. You're watching KC3TV, a public service of the Cameron Institute.